Hi class, today we are doing uh, two pages, 7374, and we're also doing 7576. Proverbs 1616 tells us, How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? Okay, and we'll go ahead and start on page 73. We're going to do the class practice 1A. These are going to be kind of simple until we get to E when they have two-digit divisors, but we'll go ahead and do these together. 4 does not go into 3. 4 does go into 37 nine times. 4 times 9 is 36. Subtract, and we get 1. 9 remainder 1. It does not tell us that we need to check it. And it says, it doesn't say anything about putting the remainder in fractions. We've been doing that lately, but we just write 9R1 and we're done with that one. Three does not go into one. Three does go into 13. Four times. Three times four is 12. When we subtract, we get a remainder of 1. C. 4 does not go into 1. 4 does go into 17. 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. When we subtract, we get a remainder of 1. For the third time in a row. And D, 6 does not go into 3, 6 does go into 31, 5 times, 6 times 5 is 30, and we subtract and we get 1, 5 remainder 1, remainder 1 for the fourth time in a row. E, now we're working with the two digit divisors. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at, does 51 go into 1? No. Does 51 go into 15? No. So we know that the first number that we are going to put in, because 51 does go into 153, so the first number that we'll put in will be above the 3. And it's so important that we make everything nice and neat when we do these problems so that they're lined up. Otherwise, we can mess ourselves up. But our first number will go above the 3, because we know that 53 does go into 153. And what we learned before was, when you're doing a bigger problem like this, cover up the last numbers that you're using. So cover up the 1, and cover up the 3. And ask yourself, how many times does 5 go into 15? Now it might be right, it might be wrong, but it will be close. 5 goes into 15 three times. So then we need to do 51 times 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. And look at that. It ends up being perfect. 153. We subtract and we get 0. And our answer is 3. Okay, F. 60 does not go into 3. It does not go into 36. But it does go into 366. So we know our first number is going to go right there. Now we're going to cover up our last numbers. Cover up our 0. Cover up our 6. And ask yourself, how many times does 6 go into 36? 6 goes into 36 six times. It might be right, it might be wrong, but it will be close. So we're going to put a 6 there, and we need to figure out what is 60 times 6. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 6 is 36. So this looks like it's going to work. 360 
we're going to go ahead and subtract and we get a remainder of 6. 6 remainder 6. G. 23 does not go into 1. 23 does not go into 19. And so we know 23 does go into 190. We know that our first number and only number will go right there. Now we're going to cover up our last numbers and ask, our, ask ourselves, how many times does 2 go into 19? 2 goes into 19 nine times. Now remember, like I said, it might be right, it might be wrong, it will be close. Let's put a 9 here, and we're going to find out here this one will be wrong, and you'll see. 23 times 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 2 more is 20. And if you look, 207 is bigger than that, so it does not work. So remember, I always I keep repeating, it might be right, it might be wrong, it will be close. Well, if it's close, then it's too much. Instead of 9, let's go ahead and try 8. Twenty-three times eight. Eight times three is twenty-four. Carry the two. Eight times two is sixteen. Plus two more is eighteen. And so this will work. An eight will work, and we get a hundred eighty-four. Subtract, and we get a remainder of six. Okay, let's go ahead and go into number 2, 2A. Actually, it looks like I'm having you do those on your own. Remember to write your remainders as fractions on those ones. Um, the story problem, though, says Mr. Trowick drove his car 450 miles in 10 hours. Find his average rate per hour. And you can do this by dividing 10 into the 450, and that will give you your answer. Miles per hour. And then B says, Taylor walked 6 miles in 2 hours. How many miles did he walk in 1 hour? Well, if he did 6 in the 2... What would half of the 6 be? It would be 3 miles. Um, turn to the back side. We'll do 7, 8, and 9 together. And the rest of them you will have to do on your own. But not yet. It says to write the name of each term. This is our numerator. And then the bottom one is always the downstairs number, starts with a D, denominator. Eight it says to solve. It's asking you for a fourth of 16. What they're saying is 16, if you were to divide it, into, divide it by four, what would you get? And that'd be four. It's so the same thing here in B. If you divide 12 and half, divide 12 by 2, and you get 6. 25 by 5, and you get 5. 81 by 9, you get 9. Okay, look at number 9. This time we're using two-digit divisors, but we have to write the remainder as a fraction. So 50 does not go into 5, but it does go into 57. This one goes in one time, 50 times 1. 
and you subtract, and you get a remainder 7, but we don't write R7. Remember, when we write it as a fraction, our remainder becomes our numerator, and our divisor becomes our denominator. And so we'd get 7 over 50. 1 and 7 over 50. All right, this one, we know 20 does not go into 4. It does go into 49, so our number is going to be placed right there. Let's go ahead and cover up our last numbers. And how many times does 2 go into 4? Remember, it might be right, it might be wrong, it will be close. 2 goes into 4 two times, so we'll try that. 2 times 20 is 40. And this looks like it's going to work. We subtract and we get 9. Remember, our remainder goes on top and our divisor on the bottom. 9 twentieth. 2 and 9 twentieth. C. 90 goes into 91 one time. You get 1. And it's 1 and 1 over 90. D. 30 does not go into 8, but it does go into 83. Let's cover up our last numbers and ask ourselves, ask ourself, how many times does 3 go into 8? 3 goes into 8 two times, so we'll try 2. It might be right, it might be wrong, it will be close. 30 times 2 is 60. Let's see. Subtract and you get 23. As long as this is smaller than that, then we're doing good and we did well here. 23 on top, 30 on the bottom, and we get 2 and 23 over 30. Okay, I want, to, I want you to look at page 7576 now. We're doing two pages today. 75 and 76. And here we have to divide and check. Let's get started. 22, it does not go into 1 does not go into 19, but it does go into 198. We need to cover up our last numbers and ask ourselves, how many times does 2 go into 19? 2 goes into 19 9 times. Remember, it might be right, it might be wrong, but it will be close. So we'll do 22 times 9. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1, 19. We get 198, which looks like it's going to be perfect. We still need to check it, though. To check it, we take our 22, multiply it by our 9, and we should get that if it's correct, which we've done over here already. So I'm not going to do the checking, but I would want you guys to have it over on this side. So if you have to transfer it there, do that, please. B. 14 does not go into 3, but it does go into 30. This one's going to go in 2 times. 2 times 14 is 28. Subtract, you get 2. You get 2, remainder 2. Let's go ahead and check it. 14 times 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Carry the 2. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 more is 4. And I see where I messed up already in my checking. I'm going a little too fast here. I'm going to back up and check again. I'm getting goofy here. Just testing you guys. And those of you who noticed that I made a mistake, you passed. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. We need to also add our remainder. 
2 plus 8 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 30. And that number matches with that, so it checks. 2 remainder 2 is correct. 32, I'm looking at C now, 32 does not go into 1, 32 does not go into 16, but 32 does go into 160. We need to cover up our last numbers and ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 16? 3 goes into 16 five times. Remember, this might be right, it might be wrong, it will be close. Let's go ahead and do our 32 times 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 more is 16. Now what's kind of cool here, what I've done, you subtract, you get 0. We've checked it right here, and it kind of saved us a little work. It's been checked on the side, so that's okay with Mr. Fit there. You've Not only have you divided, but you've also checked, like the direction said. Make sure you have your check mark there showing that you're saying, yes, it does check. D. 20 does not go into 1. 20 does not go into 17. But it does go into 170. Let's cover up our last numbers and ask ourselves. How many times does 2 go into 17? 2 goes into 17 8 times. Now we need to not do 8 times 2, but 8 times 20. I'm going to do 20 times 8. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 2 is 60. So I'm going to write that here, 160. Subtract. And we get 8 remainder 10. In my checking, I'll add the 10 to it here. We get 170, which shows that it checks. And this answer is circled, saying that's our final answer. E. 81 does not go into 2, does not go into 24, but it does go into 243. Let's cover up our last numbers and ask ourselves, how many times does 8 go into 23? No, nope. how many times does 8 go into 24? 8 goes into 24 three times. Remember, it might be right, it might be wrong, but it will be close. 81 times 3, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 8 is 24. And look, perfect. So if you have your checking over on that side, you can just put your check mark and circle your answer of 3. F, 43 does not go into 1, it does not go into 16, but it does go into 162. Let's cover up our last numbers and ask ourselves, how many times does 4 go into 16? 4 goes into 16 4 times. It might be right, it might be wrong, but it will be close. Let's go ahead and check it. 43 times 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 more is 17. Now this number is bigger than that number. That means that 4 was too much. It might be right, it might be wrong, but it will be close. So we're saying it's close to 4, but it's too much. So you'd go one down, and we'll try three instead. Forty-three times three. Forty-three 
3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. We subtract. We've got to borrow here. It becomes a 5. Oops. Twelve minus nine is three. Five minus two is three. And we get three remainder thirty three. Let's check it. Forty three times three. Three times three is nine. Three times four is twelve. Add our thirty three. And that's the same number that we originally had there. So it checks, and our 3 remainder 3 is correct. Number 2 it says to divide and write the remainder as a fraction. 6 does not go into 5, but it does go into 59 9 times. 9 times 6 is 54. Subtract, and you get 5. So we need to write our remainder as a fraction. The 5 will go on top, and the 6 will go on the bottom. 5 will be our numerator. 6 will be our denominator. 9 and 5, 6. 9 and 5, 6. B. 8 does not go into 4. It does go into 49. 8 times 6 is 48. Subtract, we get 1. So, our remainder number goes on the top, and our divisor goes on the bottom. 6 and 1 eighth. C. 9 does not go into 6, but it does go into 62. 9 times 6 would give us 54. Subtract, we've got to borrow from the 6. 12 minus 4 would give us 8. Um, we should have, instead of 1, that should be 5 minus 5. So we get 0. So it's 6, remainder 0, or 6 and 8 over 9. D. 3 does not go into 1, but it does go into 13. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract to get 1. And it's 4 and 1 third. We'll go ahead and do these measurement equations together. Uh, 17 yards, we've got to change to feet. So we need to do our one, two, three. We're going from yards to feet. Are we going bigger to smaller or smaller to bigger? Yards to feet would be larger to smaller. We multiply. What's our special number? How many feet in a yard? It's three. And then we go ahead and do our 17 times three for our step three. I ran out of room there, so I'll have you finish that one on your own. B, we've got to change everything in the yards this time, going the other way. So going the other way, I just gave you a big hint for number one, we're going from feet to yards, so we're dividing this time. We're going from smaller to bigger. And again, same special number. There's three feet in a yard. And so we're going to do 24 divided by 3. 
3 goes into 24 8 times. Here we've got uh, more to it. Our answer is in yards, so we need to change everything to yards. That one already is done. I'm just bringing it down. I'll bring down the plus sign. And then the three feet we need to change into yards. One, two, three. We're going from feet to yards, so we're going smaller to bigger. So again, we need to divide. There are three feet in a yard. And we'll do three divided by three, which is one. I'll write it here just to show the steps. Now it's one yard, one yard plus three yards. That'd be four yards. Okay, I'm going to do four with you, and then I'll have you guys do the rest on your own. Four is just telling us to shade in the fractional amount. So it says three fourths. You got to shade three of the four of these in. You got to shade three out of the four. I'll shade this one. Here's one, two, three. And do a better job than I did. Shade it in better than I did here. And that would be three fourths. There's still one fourth there. And go ahead and do the rest on your own. All of 73, 74, 75, 76 that we have not finished. You guys are amazing. I know you can do it. You are incredible. You are so smart. Math is easy for you. You can do it.